You how does it feel to, to see a reception like this and to see uh, Oh, delighted. We were, I wasn't expecting this size of a crowd at all. I knew there'd be a good few people here because Phil is a very popular girl. God mercy yeah. now, but I wasn't expecting this crowd. I knew she was well known through the rugby and yeah. all that life, but I wasn't expecting this at all. Did you, did you uh, follow the race? No, the no, I only done the walk. You do walk? How far did you walk? Only from out there. Out what you call tights in around the town and back down to Brita. Okay. And um, did you did you uh, feel that in the build up to it that uh, the whole town was behind you as a, a, oh, yeah. as a community? Yeah, the whole town, everyone knew, spoke, to, spoke about it, right? And uh, everyone said they were going to take part. Like, but listening to that, I've heard that before, you know? Exactly. People had said you wouldn't expect a crowd like. Yeah. You see, on the day you get a few, but they wouldn't all turn up. But this is a mighty. It's a phrase that's often used as a cliche, but they did, yeah, they did yeah. walk the walk and they as did. well as talk the talk on this they one, did. didn't they? They did. It's a mighty yeah. turn out now. You must be very proud. Very proud. I just like to say that most of all, this is down to Pedro. Yeah. Pedro and his family, mm -hmm. they are nearly done all the organising. So I think a lot of the credit, all of the credit. And it has to be said that Pedro's got very good neighbours. He, he has indeed. He has indeed. The Healy family next door to him took birth through the whole life. So I think to the great credit to Ireland. What's your feelings now when you see this um, reception here? I mean, Absolutely marvellous and it's just brilliant. Is it, does it, does um, it turn out? This Did you expect this? No one feel yes. All right. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because everybody loved her. So yeah, that's all you can say. But that's you a know? good testimony to yeah. you as well. Anyway, yeah. you know? um, uh, joined the walk at a later stage or were you definitely? Yeah, we so? met it out along by a bar. And how do you feel right now? Very emotional, great crowd, brilliant, really now, brilliant. And there was there much interest in it in our war with the community? Oh, out yeah, there? the sponsor we got outside in our more now, even people came in to walk for us, you know. Really, did it? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Andre Chairman, I see, of the East Cork Board, yeah? That's right, I got elected there last Monday night in the Two Mile Inn, and uh, I was delighted to get it. Is this your first time being in It's my second, second year, year now. I got it last year and they uh, voted me in on Monday night. So I'm honoured and privileged to be a Yarl man, to be chairman of yeah, these top boards. It means the, a lot to me. Are you the first Yarl man to be chairman of that? I board? am. Yeah. Dan McCarthy from Ballinor had it for, I'd say, for over 30 years. Mind you, if he had it for 30 years, you've got another 28 to Well, I have a lot of work to put in, but I, I'm putting. I'm full of full of excitement and I, I'm full of ideas. And I know you're so very committed to the sport. I well. love it. And that's what it's all about. I love it. And last year we had a great year, and this year it'll be bigger again. Okay. Well, this isn't about uh, the, the East Cork Board or the East Cork Athletics as such no at way. this minute in time. But tell us about your involvement with the uh, with Phil's run. Well, How did that come about? it came through Padjo. Good Padjo, I would have known all my life, and his wife and his family. And Jimmy Healy asked me would I come on board there a few months ago, and I said she might be honoured. Whatever I can do, I says to help out, I'll help out and today I was honoured to be able to run and be part of it and it was very uh, emotional in going through the town. What part did you run? What's, what's, uh, I started what's there the just outside Casa Marta right. and around into all around the town and I tell you it was emotional. That would have been a short sprint for you wouldn't it? Yeah it would, it <laughs> yeah. would, it would, yeah. it would. You, you, presumably you knew Phil quite well. Also, no, I, I, I knew her to salute and she'd always say hello and how are you she couldn't get nicer. But I knew Padjo then through sport and the man is involved with rugby. Yeah. I can tell you the people of y'all are mad about them. Yes. Indeed. And they were mad about Phil. She and was a lovely lady. And the people of y'all are quite good to support local causes as well, aren't they? And, and efforts like this. We've seen it over in time and time again. You're right. The people of y'all are incredible and I'm saying it all the time. They're the best people. Everyone is good, but the people of y'all will come out and strengthen. They're here today. Everything is free. You just give a donation and well done to Padjo and his team. Were you surprised at the turnout, by the way? I wasn't. I've been looking forward to this all the week. I was buzzing since half six this morning because I knew this was going to be big. And I'm delighted for them because they deserve it. But thanks to the people of y'all because they credit to everyone.
how are you feeling? Well, I was very emotional there earlier you know, when I came in first with, with seeing all the crowd, especially all the local lads people supporting all our friends and neighbours and Dermot Hurley Estate and yeah. Dominic Collins' place and all that, yeah, that Hillgrove. Were you, and were you surprised at the, at the number of people? I was. I was really surprised because we didn't know, at, we had a rough idea how many we were running, but we didn't know how many people were going to be walking from tides. Yeah. And it turned out that... You had half the town out there. Half the town. Half the there. town out yeah. the strand. Out the strand, yeah. Special yeah, location. Yeah. So they came in and, and they were all here waiting and when we were passing up and it was fantastic. What was it like from the outset, we'd say overnight, what was it like, uh, what was that experience like for you? Well, we were uh, below in Mizzen last night now, it was very emotional too, when the lads started running, Jimmy Healy, led, yeah. we had walkers first, Johnny, uh, Eamon Wilch and Johnny for Simon, my son-in-law, they walked for about two and a half miles because the road didn't great down to the main road, and then Jimmy Healy started to run at midnight. And then you knew it was on? And then you knew it was on, yeah. and... One thing we will never forget and bring it to my grave it was the cold in Mizzen last night. Really? It was incredible. Incredible. Really? It was after condition, don't we? We never realised that until last night. And, 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 the, and the hottest summer we've had yes, for, yeah, yeah. for two generations, yeah. But uh, then the lads were fantastic. The, the, Jimmy and David and all the Healy's because they have been, we've been planning this since last January. Really? That's all. When Jimmy came up with the idea, I asked, I was saying to Jimmy one time, but we were going to uh, have a fundraiser for the Mercy. And had he any ideas? So Jimmy came up with the idea about the, the run. Now, I'd say a lot of the women in the Healy and Terry family will curse them for the rest of their lives. Why'd they do that anyway? Because they never ran until the, until this thing started. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they were, I'd say they're the fittest Healy's and Terry ever <laughs> in this, in the, on the planet, ever came to the planet. Good. So it was fantastic, no? and for that it was brilliant, no? And you, you had no problems in the, in the course of it? Was it pretty smooth? It was pretty smooth. Uh, Jimmy went over on his ankle. So that slowed him down a bit. But we all stuck to it. We had a, a set time for each runner. So what happened then is that when Jimmy came in later, J yeah. Dave was taking over him. Dave took over at the time he was, but Jimmy finished up later than what it was, but he finished his course. Sure. And then David had, had a, an unfortunate incident after about 15 miles, his cattle came at him. Right. So he, kind of ha he had three big hills. So right. he couldn't run That's the Dave hills. Who? David Healy, his, David Jimmy's brother. Yeah, yeah. David couldn't run the hills with the, with the knee, but he walked them. So Warren was taking over, and so Warren took over at the time with a, a lot of him. And then David came in and finished his run. Right. Who's Warren, by the way? Warren, my son. Oh, yeah. Better, yeah. Yep. And then he, he did it. So he brought us into Bendon, and then Warren's wife, Liz, she took us from Bendon into the, the Cox City, which is 15 miles. So we ended up, we were ahead of time. Oh, excellent. And like, then, despite the injuries. Yes. Yeah. And we got the guard escort through the city, which was a big help. What time did you go through Cork City? We went through Cork City at about, uh, I'd say about 11 o'clock, 10 past 11. This morning, yeah. And the guard escort to them, they stopped all the traffic. Excellent. So we had no, no hold up with that. So we got just, friends in high places. Which would be a good time, yeah. Glad you didn't get it. And the Finbert did all the... Fair play, Got the, all the permits for me in the whole lot. He... Very, very strong y'all community effort. Yes, so, yes, you know, it was. Within, in and be, within and beyond the town. Yes. Everything fantastic now. So we got into Cox then, and then we got into the. We started from. Um, oh, oh, my head is gone. Well, I know you came out from Glontown. Yeah, Glontown, yeah. We, yeah. We, then we, we, we got us out of the Silver Spring, then we couldn't run that road because it's too dangerous. So then we had runners from Glontown, and they started down to uh, Middleton. Right. And it ca carried on from there. So we ended up probably a did half. You through Middleton or did we you did, or through Middleton. Oh, okay. A carry tool, Castle Martha. Win. But we ended up outside in Farrells probably a half an hour ahead of time. Okay, which the runners, they, we were putting down, if you say we were all the slowest ones, no, and they were listening to themselves. I had about 10 minutes a mile. Some of them were running eight, eight and a half, I mean, which yeah, is fantastic yeah, now, yeah. I mean, so that's, that's why we got in so early. But they had a lot of training and it all paid off. Oh, they had it paid off indeed, they did. <laughs> yeah, it did, it did. So. And then we got all the local support from the ladies from the athletic club and all they all joined in and to, i say from uh Glontown, we had probably the, the best part of 20 people on the road at all times excellent yeah no, you must be very proud very proud no very proud no and uh, all i was saying was thank thanks to the healy family every one of them and to my own family because the amount of effort that went into it and to all lee and governor they were the coordinators of the whole lot. They brought the whole lot together and coordinated from start to finish. They were fantastic.
and it was for that. Yeah, Ali and, and Governor are complete strangers. We never met him until probably back in May. And the time and effort they put into it was incredible. Friends for the rest of your life. Yeah. Anyway. We also had a, a Kieran from Cox City. We never met him either until he gave me camper van for 24 hours. He drove an offer and no charge. Yeah, wonderful the way people yeah, come think together. Think yeah, they're fantastic. You know, yeah, yeah. Now, we have an awful lot of people to thank. I couldn't. You can't. Yeah. But all of them will be thanked in the media, written media, and under. I think so in the, in, yeah. in, in, in the next month or two. Right, so okay. everyone that donated or gave anything will be recognised and then... I and think I think they'd be so glad to do it anyway. Yes, you know, so yeah. Even if they were never thanked, I think... And you, people, right. people don't appreciate the Yarl people. I until I know, something yeah. like this happened. And how they come out and how they support a good cause. Okay, and, and finally, for that, grateful. finally, alas, what, what would Phil be saying? And I'm, I'm sure she's watching on from somewhere. Well, I, I, as I said this morning on the radio, I'd say Phil was probably looking down on us today. She's probably having her, she always had a mug of hot water. Probably the fag in the hand and saying, aren't they some sure of clowns running for me? <laughs> 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 but she'd be right in a lovely way. Yeah, yeah. yeah.